Hello? So when you do, you have to palpate the both joint leg, the lateral joint leg and the medial joint leg. When you palpating, if there is a patient is complaining of pain, when you palpate, that indicates that means tenderness is there. So that indicate injury to that particular side meniscus. So that's why see here, keep it in the flexed position. That's see the patella, right? So always joint line will be there in the middle of the patella. This is the area. Okay. So here you have to palpate like this. If the patient is paining, then it indicates lateral meniscal injury. Or you have to palpate the medial side. Right? If the patient is complaining pain, when you palpate, mostly it is medial meniscal injury. That is joint line tenderness test, number one. Number two, McMurray test. What is McMurray test? Okay, I will do, okay, this side only. So well, this is the test to, no, no, super machine. This is the test to identify either medial meniscus or lateral meniscus. How to perform? Patient in supine position, right? Stabilize with one hand, knee joint. Keep complete flexion. Keep complete flexion and use the other hand to palpate the, which one? Joint. Okay. So now you should do, right? Extension. Then you should do rotation of tibia. So now, for example, I do extension commonly. Okay, whether medial meniscus or lateral meniscus, I should do common extension. But I should do either external rotation or internal rotation. First, let me do internal rotation. So, what? Right? Extension and internal rotation. Right? If this time is paining or any sound, click sound, that means that lateral meniscus is injured. Internal rotation for lateral, outer side. External rotation for inner side meniscus, opposite. Okay, right? See here. Right, now I will do the other one. See here, palpate the joint line, then do extension and lateral rotation. Extension and lateral, lateral rotation. That time, if there is a pain or sound, that indicate medial meniscus problem. Opposite. Understand? Two movements we should do. Extension of the knee is common, both meniscus. But we should do PPR, whether internal rotation for lateral meniscus. External rotation for medial yeah. risk. Okay? We should check it. This is which one? Next one I test. This external? Yeah, that is external. Because yeah. toes, toes side is going in. <laughs> you are not doing hip joint. Yeah. You are yeah. doing knee joint rotation. Okay? Yes. Knee joint rotation, same. Yes. If it goes outside, that is lateral. If it goes inside, that is medial. But when you are sitting and doing like this, that is different. Yeah. That is different. Yeah. Opposite. Okay, yeah. so now second one is uh, apply compression and distraction test. Prone. So to do this, patient in prone position, keep knee flexed position. No, no. Keep knee in flexed position. Now here, use it like this. Compress. Compress it and do lateral rotation. If that is paining, right? Then medial means injury. Then compress and do medial rotation. If that is paining, then lateral meniscus injury. Then, if you do distraction, no pain, no injury. That means pain is in. If there is no pain, that means when you do compression and rotation, pain is there. Check it when you do up, no pain. That means it indicates injury to the meniscus only. Understand? Yes, Press, do which rotation? Medial rotation for lateral meniscus. Press and do. Lateral rotation that is for medial opposite. Same. Same opposite. Same. McMurray and Arclay compression, same opposite. If you do medial rotation, pain means lateral meniscus injury. Okay. If you do lateral rotation, pain means medial meniscus injury. Okay? Opposite. So that's a analysis test not there. Don't worry. Okay, now management. So for, for example, range of motion exercise or stretching exercise. See here, so many are there. Hamstring, supine. Use tower, supine, supine. Use tower. Yes. So so you like this. Strength. Ah, now make it straight. Like this. Make it straight. Yes. Hamstring. Okay. Number one. Number two. Stretching. Again, hamstring. Sit. Now let's see. Here. Huh. Touch. That hand. Yes. Bend it. Bend forward. Bend forward. So number two. Number three. Like that. Okay. Number four. What is of stretching? Like this. Quadriceps. Number five. <coughs> Again, one more quadriceps. Keeping here, like this, and the lower. Quadriceps. 
Half muscles. I told you, just only muscles. Like this. Go in front. Soleus. Down. Okay, these are the stretching exercises. Hip flexors. Stretching again. Some more stretching. Doing like this. Hip flexors. Okay? Then come to the last one. 